How is everyone doing this fine, fine evening? Or whenever you're watching this. So Sketchbook Pro 2016 has, for those of you that don't know, that are kind of curious about finding it, or finding out about it, or downloading it, or whatever. Uh, by the way, this is a golden ratio mask that I, I just found online. I, I didn't even know that this was a thing. But now I know. Knowing is half the battle. The more you know. So, what you can do is, if you go to Sketchbook Pro's blog, they have, uh, they've been giving away free brush sets every week. And not all of them I'm super crazy about, nor not all of them are, are wonderfully useful for what I do. But then there are some that are just amazing. I just downloaded this chalk set. That's a really fantastic chalk set. And I'm going to show you guys how to, how to, uh, how to import a brush set. So you're going to make sure that you have your, you got your brush palette clicked on, go up into the brush library, which is at the very top. Uh, not to be confused with brush properties. So brush library, you're going to press on to that. You can see I already have the chalk, and I'll go in for that to show you how they work. So you're going to go in and press this radial dial here, and we're going to go all the way around where it says import brush set. And we're going to go and grab the watercolor brushes. And we're going to open that, and it's as simple as that, and you just wait a little bit, and here's some watercolor brushes. So I'm going to move this over to the side. I got two screens, so I'm just kind of moving that over to the side to get some more real estate. And I'm going to go ahead and try. Actually, I should probably move these over to give you guys a better idea of which brushes that I'm using. That might help. So let's take a look at what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to rename this layer. And by the way, if you guys really want to, if you want to check out my course on learning Sketchbook Pro on a weekend, it's only ten bucks. If you follow the link down below, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, and it'll get you started on Sketchbook Pro, and you can start using it. So I'm going to rename the layer to Watercolor because that's the brush I'm going to use. I've never used these brushes before. I have no idea how these are going to turn out. I did uh, make a video earlier and I made a mistake on it and I used the chalk brushes and I'll show you how the chalk brushes work because I'm sure a lot of you are, are might be Photoshop users or you might be I was trying to make my own chalk brush for here and it was I, I had some good results and then I had some not so great results but I think I'll just uh, um, I think I'll learn how to spell first uh, chalk so let's go here so I'm gonna go underneath here and we're going to try to watercolor set someone fine tip watercolor and this will probably just be I'll go in here to the okay this is uh definitely acting like watercolor I don't use a lot of watercolor <laughs> so I'm probably butchering this whole thing up those of you that use watercolor are going, whoa, okay, that, that's, that's, that's a bit large there. Oh, but that does, that, that is nice. I do like that. I do like the way that, I wonder what the settings are here. So if you want to check the settings of any brush, double click onto it, and you can see that it's set to multiply. And I teach you guys all this stuff, if, you know, anyway, but it's set to multiply. As you can see, certain brushes you can have different settings, just like in Photoshop. And you can also check out some of the advanced features. And the cool thing is if you want to change something, like maybe I just want to have the radius the same, all I got to do is do that, and it's done. It's saved. That's how it is. And what else we got here? We got medium tip rough. That's really beautiful. I like that. I made a brush kind of similar to this, but I do like this. This is very nice. And let me see what we got here. Fine tip blender. Hmm. That's a very nice blender. It seems to uh, lighten. Well, let's try something here for a second. So I'm going to go back to uh, 
I'm just going to go off to the side and maybe choose another color. Maybe not that color. So I'm going to go under this blender. Let's see what it does. That's interesting. It slightly seems to be erasing. Let's see what the settings are. Fine tip blender, it's set on smudge. It seems to be erasing. Shape dynamics, and it definitely has a shape to it. That's a very interesting effect for a blender. Hmm. And we got fine tip light. Wow, this is actually uh, not a bad, not a bad drawing tool. And broad stroke blender. That's kind of did what I thought it was going to do. That's very interesting. I, I kind of like the way that it kept the, it. It kept it keeps the integrity of the color. Doesn't seem to get muddy at all. Very cool. I'm really liking this set. So bristle blender, giving it some texture, and round tip. Nice vibrant thick colors. That's very cool. Also, fan. Okay, that's that's <laughs> that's a little bit large there. Fan broad tip. It's kind of doing the same thing. And finally, we have the square tip. This watercolor set is very, very nice and very promising. So as I go in here and maybe go back to my fine tip blender, smooths that out really nicely. Maybe with a bristle blender. It's a very nice effect. I do like that a lot. So that's going to be that. Let's take a look at these chalk brushes. So like I said, if you just guys just go to the Sketchbook Pro blog, and I'm probably going to do a blog on all these on my own because I have a, a, a an actual real people website now. I don't have the, I used to have this really bad website. Uh, I've got my domain through GoDaddy and everything is fine, but they gave me this website builder for for essentially twelve dollars for an entire year and it looks like a twelve dollar website builder but i went into wordpress and got myself a brand new website so uh, maybe i will do a video on that let's check out these chalks or i should say i want to show you these chalks i like this i really do like this chalk these they they look they look really good they're giving you a lot of really wonderful texture to them And I had some chalk brushes, but I was not able to get this right. This, uh, th like the previous brush that I showed you. And so we got grainy chalk. So I know sometimes you may see people draw with these, especially when they draw a lot in Photoshop. And this has a lot more texture to it. I would probably. I think that with this I would change this I'd make a clone of this and change it into a metal brush matter of fact let me show you um, let's go oh wait let's do this the other way so I'm gonna go to my radial dial I'm going to go around to copy brush because I do like this. I'm going to open up the properties and this is on multiply which is cool but I want to do color dodge and I am going to now you can use you can import your own textures now at Sketchbook Pro with with uh you can import your own textures and just make it whatever you want to make it they got all this other stuff down in here um but i'll just uh i'll go use texture as icon 
So I kind of like that. And then I'm going to change the name of the brush to Streaky Chalk. Dodge. I'll just kind of click away from that. Oh, I'll hit enter. That might help. So there we go. So now I've just created another brush that's gonna that should behave. Let's see how this behaves. So I got this right here. And the more that I add, the more vibrant the color becomes. I'm trying to see if this actually does what I it actually does. Actually, let's change this to linear dodge. So it should be it's okay so now it's starting to lighten so I think what I want to do is increase the pressure radius with heavy pressure radius with light pressure opacity with okay flow with heavy pressure flow with light pressure. let's increase that and see what we do and this is the cool thing about this program is that or this app because they're called apps now that's what people call them they're called apps uh, you can kind of play around with the features of it, and I don't. I don't think I have everything. Is is uh, let's take out rotation randomize. You can play around with this, and you don't have to worry about. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, having hit save. Once you do it, it's just done, and you can kind of adjust it as you go along. So let's maybe take out some of these. Let me see this as opposed to this. So this is not that much different by setting it from multiply to I was hoping to get much more of a, a brighter. I was hoping to make it a lot more brighter. Oh, wow, we got a clean eraser. I, I I forgot to even go okay, so let's see what this eraser does. This eraser is actually pretty effective for like blending. That's very interesting. Dirty eraser. Oh, okay. I don't <laughs> this is very interesting. So this is behaving way more different than what I thought it would behave. Uh, I have no idea what I would do with this. So, so there we go. Uh, I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to make more YouTube videos and uh, hopefully this was helpful for you I showed you guys a few things how to do in sketchbook pro and I'm gonna have some more videos coming out for you guys I'm just uh, bear with me I work and I do stuff but uh, I'm gonna try to have some videos if you guys got any videos that you wanna see that yes let's do that if you guys got videos that you wanna see please comment below tell me what you want to see me do because I to be quite honest with you I just run out of ideas for videos because I've taught so much stuff online and I had so many classes where I'm teaching stuff but I don't really know what you guys want to see I don't want to make a bunch of videos that I I've tried to make videos in the past where I thought well maybe my audience wants to see this and then I get like a hundred views which I'm thankful for the hundred views but I, I, I want to get in the habit of not doing stuff that you guys I don't really care about I mean shit if you don't care about it <laughs> you know that's fine I understand but let me know what you want to see me do so that's I'm gonna leave that up to you to keep this channel it'll be going in some capacity but the more ideas that you give me guys uh, if you want to learn something if there's uh, if you want to learn how to do something in a piece of software or you want to learn how to draw something specific uh, let me know uh, and and I will do that video for you alright I'm gonna stop talking because I'm just rambling alright peace